Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best stylus for Procreate on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best stylus for Procreate. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Looking for the best stylus for Procreate on iPad Air slash Pro? Many digital artists overlook the fact that there's two different types of stylus pens that work well for Procreate apps on iPad, Active Stylus and Capacitive Stylus, Passive. Professional digital artists use an Active Stylus because it allows pressure sensitivity in your drawings slash paintings on Procreate. This means you can control how thick or thin the brush strokes or lines are when applying pressure. The issue is that not every stylus pen that claims to be active works properly on Procreate, even though they should. This article will help you find the proper stylus. The last feature slash spec that is recommended when choosing the best stylus for Procreate is a rechargeable battery on the pen. It will free frustration from your drawing and painting experience when you need your stylus for Procreate on iPad Air 2, 3, and iPad Pro 3rd and 4th Gen. To be clear, this article will help you find the best stylus for Procreate on iPad. Apple alternative stylus pens may vary have a pressure sensitivity feature, but, for some reason, on the Procreate app the sensitivity isn't compatible and simply doesn't work properly when drawing on iPad. These digital pens are all active stylus, not capacitive. These are the most compatible stylus pens you can use on iPad for Procreate and are highly reputable, especially the Adunit Note and Apple Pencil. Number 5. ZAGG Pro Stylus for Procreate. When you look for third-party iPad styluses, you have to accept some compromises, so let's get this out of the way. The ZAG Pro Stylus does not offer pressure sensitivity. The Adunit Dash 4 is a great one, compatible with the majority of iPads, it's a versatile stylus that's excellent for more casual users. It's a passive stylus, meaning no Bluetooth connectivity, and has a useful dual-mode toggle that lets you switch between general-purpose use and palm rejection for drawing, provided your iPad is compatible, of course. There's no pressure sensitivity. So for serious artistic aspirations this may not be the best choice, and you'll find this to be a frequent refrain as we explore third-party styluses. However, in our review, we liked a lot of things about the Adunit Dash 4, especially its sleek aluminium design, and the fact that its battery can last up to 15 hours before needing a charge. It's a pretty basic stylus, but if that's all you need, then the Adunit Dash 4 will fit the bill exceptionally well. The Dash 4 is as responsive as you'd hope for note-taking and sketching. However, due to this stylus lack of pressure sensitivity, its capability for more nuanced artworking is lacking. In terms of more general use, the Adunit Dash 4 is good for quick path texting and general gaming on your phone or tablet. It feels comfortable in the hand and has a good flow overall, especially for note-taking. Number 2. Adunit Pixel Adful Stylus for Procreate. Adunit has been refining its styluses for close to a decade now, and the Adunit Pixel is still one of its best for drawing on an iPad. Bluetooth enabled and compatible with many of the sorts of apps creatives will likely be using on their tablets, the Pixel boasts 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity and a range of function buttons on its body that can be assigned to the user's preferred tools though be warned these can be easy to knock accidentally if you're not paying attention. The battery should last for about 15 hours of use, allowing you to get really stuck into your projects, and the sleek design makes the Pixel stylus genuinely enjoyable to use. As our most advanced iPad stylus, the Pixel offers unparalleled precision, increased tip drag, and pressure sensitivity for natural writing and drawing across all the latest iPad models. The Pixel's improved 1.9mm tip creates a paper-like drag that's more precise and responsive than ever before. The Pixel is a pressure-sensitive stylus with 2048 levels of sensitivity. Now you can create nuanced strokes of varying width and weight like an ink pen or brush. 
Rest your palm comfortably on screen without fear of unwanted marks. Programmable shortcut buttons give you easy, one-touch access to your most used tools like Erase and Redo. The Pixel's barrel has two programmable buttons within easy reach when holding. Shortcuts the buttons perform are determined by the app itself, not a doonit. Note that a doonit makes many other styluses for iPads, iPhones and Android devices. Oddly, there is no Windows Surface stylus available. Number 3. Miko Universal Stylus for Procreate. If you don't need anything fancy and just want a basic stylus that works, the Miko Universal Stylus should be your point of call. With its single-digit price tag, it's much. One of my favorite things about this product is the feeling you get when using it. Since it's made from aluminum and steel, it feels very sturdy and almost luxurious. Definitely doesn't feel cheap in any way, which can usually be the case with these. It has two different types of tips, being two-in-one, a thin fiber tip and a high-precision rubber one. They feel okay, but from my experience, these tend to wear off after heavy usage. Luckily, you get lots of replacements in the package, so you'll be good to go. I really like the fiber tip, because lots of other manufacturers use rubber ones that are coated with some fiber, which then promptly breaks down. The stylus looks and feels premium, and there's plenty of colors to choose from. Although nothing looks as good as the sleek black one, if you'd like to color things up, you have the option. This Miko stylus has several features that can be very, very useful. The first one that comes to mind is the way that you replace the tips, which is absurdly easy. Pull it out and slide the other one in, or just screw one off and screw the other one in. It fees simple and natural, just the way it should. The stylus is, of course, compatible with all the regular capacitive touch screens, whether it's an iDevice, an Android or a Windows phone slash tablet. There are no apps to install to pair the stylus with your device, which is just unnecessary in most cases from my experience. This one works out the box, which is awesome. However, if you use a sturdier screen protector, you might experience some troubles due to that, so you'll have to pick your battles if that's the case. I would wholeheartedly recommend this stylus to basically everyone. It offers a premium feeling, it's perfectly usable, and it's beyond affordable. Number 4. Wacom CS323AG0S Stylus for Procreate. Wacom boasts an industry-leading reputation thanks to its fabulous range of dedicated drawing tablets. So it's only natural that the company produces an attractive line of styluses as well. The Bamboo Fine Line is created for Apple products with iOS. There are Wacom apps available to download from their website in order to use the stylus. I tested these using my iPad and iPhone and found it worked better on the iPad due to the screen size. The stylus has a USB charging cable included and a retractable tip. The app available is called InkSpace and you can use bamboo paper to write and edit using the stylus. It was fairly easy to pair with my devices and once that was done it's easy to use. The Bamboo Fine Line is designed for natural writing and has pressure sensors and many smart features. One of these is a shortcut button and the other is its ease in pairing with note-taking apps. I found the stylus was accurate when I was using it to write. What is written can be exported to other Apple apps. I have also discovered it works well with apps sensitive to touch such as coloring apps. I was able to use the stylus on the Colorfy app where I used it to color in some pictures. Overall I feel like this stylus is a great item for people who specifically need this type of technological equipment. If it will be used regularly then it's a great tool that is very useful. It's a shame that it is only compatible with certain apps and devices. It is obviously only usable with Apple products, which could put some people off. But its accuracy was excellent, it's lightweight and portable which really go in its favor. Number 5. ZAGG Pro Stylus for Procreate. When you look for third-party iPad styluses, you have to accept some compromises, so let's get this out of the way, 
the Zag Pro stylus does not offer pressure sensitivity. Most Apple products reflect a brand premium, and they usually include premium features that not everybody needs. Those looking for good note-taking and adequate drawing experiences should consider the Zag Pro stylus as a primary or secondary stylus in their Apple arsenal. The Zag Pro stylus brings basic writing and UI manipulation to iPad users at a lower cost than Apple's Pencil 2. Professional artists will still want to buy the Pencil 2, but for those focused on jotting notes and working the UI, Zag's pen will prove more than adequate. Zag's solid build and great hand feel make the Zag Pro Stylus one of the best non-Apple iPad stylus choices. The most pleasant surprise, no pairing. Simply turn on the Pro Stylus, and it just starts working. If you do own an Apple Pencil it needs to be forgotten before the Zag Pro Stylus will work. And while the Pro Stylus does not support pressure-sensitive writing and drawing, it does include tilt recognition. The result, limited shading. Depending on the app, the Pro Stylus can create art as nuanced as Apple Pencil sketches. The Pro Stylus also supports palm rejection, making its use as natural as Apple's Pencil when taking notes or drawing. The pen tip looks exactly like Apple's, save for its gray color, that matches the body of the stylus both of which would be a cool alternative to Apple's white. The Zag Pro stylus wears all of its features on the surface, except one. I had to turn to the manual to charge the stylus. Here's the trick, push up the capacitive tip to reveal a USB-C charging port. Oh I did say capacitive tip, which means that the Pro Stylus will also write on non-active surfaces like the iPhone or a point-of-sale terminal at a restaurant. Zag delivers an overall pleasant performance with the Pro Stylus. Those who want to finesse their art will likely stick to Apple's Pencil. But everyone else can save a few dollars and still eliminate paper in their lives by turning the iPad into a one-stop device for most of the work done without a keyboard. If you live to take notes and want to save about $50 over Apple's Pencil 2, the Zag Pro Stylus is the way to go. Unlike Apple's Pencil, the Zag Stylus also includes a capacitive tip for writing on other devices, like the iPhone. Zag's engineering and quality reputation make the Zag Pro Stylus a safe buy. And hey, I've left my stylus at home on a trip before so having an extra stylus isn't a bad thing, and even for artists, Zag's Pro Stylus makes a great backup.